Jessica for a family coach and I decided tonight for Kim's dinner I'm gonna do something a little bit different so I don't know if you've heard of scatter feeding but it's something that people do for canine enrichment and basically if you have a dry food you would just take their portion of food and you'll kind of toss it wherever it is inside outside wherever you're gonna be feeding and what you're doing is giving your dog the opportunity to sniff out where their meal is, so they're using their head, they're using their, their noses, which they're using their brain. I feed Kim a raw food diet. And so I've been racking my brain on how to do something similar to scatter feeding, which obviously I can't really do that with uh, wet food because this is raw meat and vegetables and organ meat and bone and all that good stuff. So what I decided to do was I got these little um, silicone cupcake pan liners from Amazon. They're really inexpensive. And I took and I cut up her raw food and I put it in some of these silicone containers. Now, I haven't done this with Kim before, so I'm gonna make it really easy for her the first time, but I just wanted to show you what I'm gonna do. I'm actually, we're outside, so I'm gonna place these around outside and she is just gonna use her nose to sniff them out. If your dog is more advanced, you can hide them a little bit better. If we had grass in the yard, it's not the time of year where we're gonna have grass in the yard. It's just too hot and too dry. But once we have grass in the yard, I'll actually kind of put these a little bit in the grass so that she can really get in there and sniff, sniff them out. But I just wanna kind of show you what I'm gonna do to kind of mimic a uh, scatter uh, feeding with raw food. So let's go over here. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna make it really easy for her since I haven't done this with her before, um, but I'm just gonna start to place some of these silicone cupcake liners down that have her food in them. And I'm just gonna spread them out a little bit, not too, too much because I want her to actually start getting used to the idea. Now, if your dog is more advanced, of course you can do more spacing and kind of hide them a little bit better. But for right now, I just want her to get used to the idea of um, this mimic scatter feeding for a raw fed dog. Okay, so she's actually doing really good for the very first time we're trying this. Um, so she's doing so well at it. In fact, but the next time we do it, which we may actually try it again tomorrow night, I'm going to make it a little bit more difficult for her. And I might hide some up in the flower bed. I might take some and put it out um, in the actual yard. But I'm going to hide them a little bit better tomorrow since she's doing so well with it tonight. But I'm really pleased with this. And the whole idea is that she's using her nose to find her food, which is engaging her brain. And yeah, so that's what canine enrichment is all about. So. I'm gonna call this one a win, and this is kind of, I'm gonna call it a mimic scatter feed for a raw fed dog. Hey guys, Jessica here. So tonight I am going to be doing some more of the um, mimicking the scatter feeding, but I'm doing it with raw food. So I don't have a cameraman with me today, so this is gonna be a little tricky, so bear with me. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these outside and place them around. I'm actually gonna see she's very anxious to get her meal tonight so give me a second okay so i'm gonna go outside and i'm gonna just place these around i'm just gonna place these around i do want to say i like that these are kind of bowl like they're like um you know for cupcakes so i like that they're kind of bowl like so that um, you know what, I'm gonna go over here because I wanna try to make sure I'm not putting these anywhere where she potties. <laughs> um, so if you have some liquids in the food you're feeding, these are kind of um, bowl-like in that, and so that you can use the liquids too. Um, so again, I'm just trying to mimic a scatter feeding. 
And guys, we have a lot of um, work to do in our backyard, so please forgive me for all of the um, potential ugliness <laughs> um, that you, know, you may be seeing with all the concrete. We are having a really hard time getting up the paint off of the concrete. Anyway, so I'm just kind of mimicking a scatter feeding with raw food, and she's actually eating Darwin's tonight, which is much um, wetter and kind of runnier than the answers food that we normally feed. Um, I just happened to have some Darwin's in the freezer. So she's going around and finding everything. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna watch her for a little bit and see how she does. Um, I will say, I was saying before, I like that these are kind of bowl-like so that you can include any type of um, liquids that you may be feeding, like kefir or goat's milk. Um, sometimes I add different oils, like a hemp oil. Um, if I'm feeding sardines, that obviously that has, uh, you know, a juice in it, a liquid in it, because I, I get them um, packed in water. So she's going, she's just going around and <laughs> finding them. I am going to start making this more difficult for her because she's really doing a good job of it. Um, I just, I'm going to start taking them out in the front yard. She uses the backyard um, as a bathroom a lot. So that's why we're kind of staying on the cement in the backyard. But I'm going to start, um, once she's really getting good at it, really getting the hang of it, and I think she is. We're gonna start taking them out in the front yard and actually putting them in the grass. We actually have nice grass in the front yard, whereas we don't really in the backyard. But wherever you have, you know, a really good uh, spot where you can start to kind of um, increase the difficulty level is gonna be really great for her, uh, your dog. I will also say that if you have a larger dog or if you have a dog that um, you think may got a few left. So if you have a dog, a larger dog, or if you have a dog that you think may um, eat the cupcake liners, maybe, you know, maybe this isn't going to be for you, or maybe you can try it, of course, with supervision. Always, you know, anytime you're you're giving your dog anything new or anything that they shouldn't eat, you, all, you definitely want to supervise. <clears throat> um, maybe, you know, supervise them with the first couple and start to, um, uh, as long as they're not food aggressive, which is another issue, <laughs> to, you know, to, another thing to train uh, for, but <clears throat> as long as they're not food aggressive, maybe you could like actually um, be with them when they eat out of it and kind of as they finish the food inside of it, take it away. Or, you know, if, if, if you feel like they're gonna eat it, then you know, don't give it to them at all. We can figure something else out. But I did want to kind of show you. You got one more left, bug. What we're doing and just kind of give you a really good example, I think, of mimicking a scatter feeding when we have a raw food diet. So, yeah, she got them all, yay. Okay, so we tried the front yard and it was a little too quick for Kim. There were still way too many distractions. So the raw fed mimic scatter feed didn't quite work yet, but I have an idea. So tonight we're going to, I have just the area right outside of our front door blocked off so that we're gonna do the mimic scatter feed just outside of the front door, not all the way in the front yard. So we're gonna kind of work our way up to outside areas that aren't in our backyard. So I have placed her food out and I'll show you how I did that and we'll get Kim to eat her dinner. Stay. Good job. Okay. All right, come on. I've kind of got, you can see I've got it blocked off so she can't get past just our entryway right here. And I have her food set out like a mimic scatter feed. All right, come on. All right, can I get your food? All right, here we go. Can I get your food? So I'm gonna show you one and then you can get the rest. Good job. There we go. Good job. 
Good job, Kimbers. Uh oh. Okay. I stepped on one. I almost stepped on one. Okay. So we have a little mimic scatter feed right outside the front door. This might be um so this is just gonna be a little bit easier for her. We're gonna work our way up to the front yard. We tried it the other night. It was just way too many distractions for her. So I, I wanna build up to it though because I want her to be able to engage with me and with food when there are other distractions around. So we're gonna build up to it. And right now I am really, really happy and really pleased with how well she is doing just outside the front door. So this is our Mimic scatter feed. I'm gonna go ahead and wind up this video. Um, just kind of showing you what we're doing. And yeah, we're just building our way up to places outside of the house. And we'll get to the front yard where there are, you can see the front yard is just right there. So I'm really, really super proud of her right now for how well she's doing so far. Considering she didn't do very well in the front yard just two nights ago. So she's doing awesome. I'm really thrilled. I'm really happy. And we're going to continue to do this uh, Mimic Scatter Feed. Not every night. Um, we're going to rotate it with some other games and some other enrichment. Um, some more engagement games to get her to actually engage with me. Right now we're just get her, getting her to engage in food where, where there are distractions. Um, so there are noise distractions right now. She just can't get past the barrier. So this is really good progress. I'm really happy with her. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.